up guys welcome back once again it is me mold so happy to be here with you guys today we are doing a clan war recap i'm gonna start doing clan war recaps again with our clan eliminate um 103 to 1 <laughs> come on so this isn't really too much of a recap on the standpoint of the team that we faced but we are going to see some good raids from uh everyone on our team so first of all let's go ahead and watch this attack from the other team on ollie um <clears throat> clearly it didn't go too well um so we'll go ahead and see that the person just dropped their <laughs> archer queen <laughs> what that was ridiculous um all right let's go look at some of the attacks so we've got an attack from Genoc right here he's a youtuber as well you guys can um go check him out uh, see him, uh, watch his channel. He's got a lot of high level gameplay, obviously. But here's his attack. So he's using, uh, Go Wipe with a couple of witches, dropping off all three of his golems, um, of course. And let's see what he does with these clan council troops. So the clan council troops in this war from the enemy team aren't too good. So there goes the jump spell right there. There goes the lightning spell as all of the clan council troops, uh, get stuck in one little area. And he's got one free spell ready to go. He's got a rage spell dropping that right there on the middle. There goes that free spell. Hopefully he can get in here and start doing some work. The P.E.K.K.A.s are in there ready to go. They just took out that one Inferno Tower. And they should lock on to the Town Hall fairly soon. The King's jumping in there. It looks like, what is even attacking? It was just the Queen that was attacking the uh, Town Hall right there. So that was actually pretty close. Um, but he is going to finish off doing some work. That Archer Tower just took out uh, his last witch. Not his last witch. He's got one more witch right there. And uh, his heroes are in the center just doing some work. Uh, I would have ended it at this point because of all of his max level Archer Towers that he has left and whatnot. So um, there's one attack that uh, Genoc did. Great, great attack on their top level uh, person. I believe that I attacked number 15. Yep, so I attacked number 15 right here um with go wipe uh and used four pekkas dropped off my uh my wizards down here were a little bit close together but <clears throat> it ended up working out just fine so i drop off that lightning spell right there to take out the clan castle troops as they're running around i should have waited a couple seconds uh for them to uh all bunch together and then drop it but we still ended up being fine so our P.E.K.K.A.s head into the center of the base right there. Our witches and our wizards are working around. We've got that jump spell uh, over three different compartments. Um, I definitely dropped that free spell a little too soon, and it barely missed that Inferno Tower right there. I thought I would be able to get both of them, but I ended up not being able to. So there goes that rage spell right there. And there, that free spell actually worked and took out both of the uh, Inferno Towers. So we've got our P.E.K.K.A. right here, just taking a lot of damage. But it is going to jump in there and finally uh, get to work on the King and then take out the Town Hall for us. So you can see that final P.E.K.K.A. right there. That is the only thing in there currently doing damage. So if that P.E.K.K.A. went down, we wouldn't have gotten the Town Hall. Uh, so that was very, very close. It's got two Expos and an Inferno Tower on it. But we were able to take it out right there. And then um, I should have just finished this as well. But I wanted to uh, see if I could get a little extra loot from it. So we end, up, we end up getting, what, 65, 67, 67%. Um, so that base wasn't too hard. I'm still working on my raiding, obviously. I'm not uh, the best raider. I'm more of a farmer. Um, but let's go ahead and let's watch some of these three stars. So this is uh, Yazoo. You guys know him. He is... Um, he is a streamer, uh, King Yazoo, so definitely check him out on Twitch if you guys uh, ever go on there. I haven't streamed in a while. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, Yazoo's going in right here with his uh, golems. It looks like he's got two golems down and a whole bunch of Valkyries. So he's doing a go vape strategy, it looks like. Um, getting those uh, getting those Valkyries up in there with those P.E.K.K.A.s heading right into the center. There goes a Rage Spell. Those Valkyries are going to go crazy on these heroes. Look, the hero's already down. That took literally no time whatsoever because those Valkyries just do so much damage. Freeze Spell on the Clan Castle troops. 
and the Valkyries are going to take all of them out in like one second. Um, another rage spell down up at the top. Town Hall down, obviously. Uh, got golems over here on the side. A lonely wizard shooting a wall because he's dumb. Uh, the Archer Queen is in the center. A couple of wall breakers down here um, for that golem to slowly make his way over to. And a couple of goblins as well. He's still got a whole bunch of Valkyries up and running. They are wrecking this base. Um, Valkyries are... They're a really good troop. I don't use them that much. Um, I might start, though, because I know that a lot of people who do go vape and whatnot um, say that it works really, really well. One of them just got flung off. Um, but he is holding out, and um, you can see he's only got, uh, what, three defenses left. He's got his heroes up. He's got one P.E.K.K.A., got a couple Valkyries. So no problem whatsoever for Yazoo taking out that base. Now, why don't we go back and watch the one star that somebody actually gets on one of our bases it's right here poor ajax <laughs> got attacked i think he got attacked twice actually um so his base actually looks pretty good um this guy is uh he he tried to do a little trap thing with a whole bunch of bombs and teslas uh, and the expos pointed at it and whatnot um which does work well depending on the attack strategy this guy's using barch uh so i don't know how the freak he ends up getting a star on this uh, with Barch because of all the giant bombs and everything that's in there. You can see those bombs going off. Um, he didn't. He only had archers in his clan castle. Um, but all those archers come in. They are working slowly. He does have level 14 and level 12 heroes, which are going to help him out, as you can see right there. But he had to deploy a lot. There go the rest of the clan castle troops. Town Hall is down, and he gets 17% for a one-star hilarious um so that's the only star that they were able to get uh why don't we go and watch uh one more lower level three star let's see what uh let's see what assist jan did on this base i hate bases like this personally uh because they just stress me out because your your golems walk all around it and it's pretty annoying as they get uh kind of lured around the base so um he's got a couple pekkas got some golems and some wizards uh, there goes the jump spell, and that should be a good jump spell. Oh, no, the P.E.K.K.A.s. The P.E.K.K.A.s didn't want to go into the center of the base. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. Obviously, we know what the outcome is, um, but we'll go ahead and see what happens. So there goes a lightning spell um, with the spooky bats and whatnot dropping down, taking out all of those clan castle troops. Got that rage spell in the middle. There go the P.E.K.K.A.s. They're finally heading in um, to the center of the base, and they are going to annihilate this up oh, they got distracted and now they're gonna head back to the center uh so take that out everything's going well he's got one golem working around the top part it just split into two um another golem in the middle and then this one down here at the bottom uh, which just blew up so <clears throat> there goes that wizard to that bomb um he does have both of his pekkas are still up he's got his king up just used his ability and uh, thankfully these defenses up here were distracted on that golem, but they are not anymore. There goes that last jump spell. So that's interesting to see two jump spells uh, being used. Um, but I guess that he just prepared knowing that this base, the jump spells would, would be necessary. Um, so three P.E.K.K.A. still up. Only two defenses left. And we are just going to fast forward on through this. But uh, guys, this is a pretty high level clan. Um, the clan that we are facing today... Uh, let's go ahead and look at that. So that was the last one. Eliminate versus Persian Golf, 103 to 1. Hilarious. So the clan that we're facing today is going to be pretty hard. They have uh, 73 wins. And I'm going to be attacking number 16 uh, right here. Uh, so we're going to see how that goes. I'm definitely attacking from the top with Go Wipe. And uh, if, I can, if I can do it perfectly, then I should be able to get to the town hall, which obviously is my goal. Um, but I'm happy that I'm in this clan because I get to learn from these guys. They're very, very skilled. I've never been much of a high-level raider um, just because I like march and I like attacking with strategies like that. Um, you can see my army camp right now is 20 giants, 8, 8, 40, and 52. Uh, just because I like to farm in lower levels. But I'm happy that I'm learning a lot from these guys. And uh, moving on up, Eliminate is a great clan. So thanks to those guys. And I hope that you enjoy these uh, clan war recaps. I'm going to be doing them a lot more, especially this next one with my new base design and whatnot. 
So yeah, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We are going to be posting these a lot because we wore constantly. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.